do couples really live happily ever after the way they do in fairy tales or in the movies, like when Harry met Sally? You know where we met? In an elevator. I was visiting family. In the Ambassador Hotel in Chicago, He was Illinois. on the third floor. I was on the 12th. I rode up nine extra floors just to keep talking to her. Nine extra floors. This beautiful girl walked in, and I turned to Arthur, and I said, Arthur, you see that girl? I'm going to marry her. And two weeks later, we were married. And it's over 50 years later, and we are still married. One of the all-time classic scenes there. A new study now of people who've been married for over 20 years has found uh, they're just as much in love as couples in the early stages of a relationship. So joining us to discuss lasting love is early show contributor and psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is fun stuff to this talk about, This is a nice right? stuff to talk about, yes. Um, so what we're going to start with is, is, is these brain scans, because they, what they did is they, they did a compilation of brain scans of, uh, of couples on mm -hmm. the left, right, in the early stages of love, and then on the right in, in, in long-term love. Tell us what we're looking at right. here. So if you look there in the red, there's that red section that is equally highlighted on the red and in the yellow, and basically that's the reward center of the brain. The and major reward the center. The major reward okay. center. And what they showed is that they showed the couples a picture picture of their significant other, and it highlighted the excitement in that reward center equally in both newly in love couples and in couples who've been married at least an average of 21 years. So what that can tell us is love can potentially be everlasting. It's not mythical. It's not fairy tale. It shows the same kind of reaction in both, and that's really wonderful news. And maybe even better, there was more color in the second scan, right? Right, and the more color highlights the fact that there's a greater attachment that's built. Those other sections that were highlighted highlight attachment areas that grow over time as we get more and more connected to our partners. Should we be surprised by this at all? Well, I think that in our news, we hear all about people getting divorced mm. later, and that is newsworthy, that this is the opposite, that love can last around much longer than we've really thought about because their divorce rate is so high. So I think this is really hopeful that maybe love is equally long-lasting. Um, one, 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 one important part of this, of this study was... Uh, keeping up relations, if you right. will. It, it, <laughs> right. it, 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 it talks about the importance of sex yes. in, a, in, in a healthy relationship. Um, so how important is that? It's very important. The fact is sex is important for lots of reasons. We know that there's actually health, me, uh, physical health benefits, mental health benefits, and most importantly, it keeps you connected a lot to your partner. And that's only going to build passion and intimacy and positive feeling towards the other person. Is there a number they put on this, by the way? They're yeah, you know, they... Per week, per month? Yeah, they <laughs> recommend, you know, based on age, certainly. But a few times a month, once a week, as much as you can, you know, whatever works for you. Increasing the color in the brain. Exactly. Um, tips, any tips for couples if they're looking to get to this point well, other I, than the <laughs> other than we just sex. talked about? Yes. Sure. So I think that we have to really be mindful of keeping communication open, working on keeping the connection together and really appreciating one another. Dr. Jen Hartstein, fun stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff.